Hello everyone, this is Carly at Crafting with Class and today I bring you a an interactive birthday card that I created for my son. So here it is and I love interactive cards, they are my favorite so this card was so much fun to make. Um, and here are the supplies that I use today. So starting with Distress Oxides and then I use the Coaster Critters and Slider Die from Lawn Fawn. Also the Party Animal set as well as the Pizza My Heart. So I use the Pizza Slice and the Pepperoni. I also use the Let's Barbecue stamp set for the hamburger and the hot dog. I used um, the Avery Owl Peekaboo Pals stamp set. The Peekaboo Pets also for the doggy and the cat. And the one I just picked up, the Peekaboo Fair. So I'm really excited to use this um, die here, or the, yes, the die and the stamp set. So I also um, use the More Party Animals set, and I just use the sentiment out of this one. And these are from Lala Land. Okay, so I put everything on the Misty, and I wanted to stamp them all at the same time, because as you can see, there are a lot of images, and I also needed to do a second sheet. Um, and this one is the critters. Now I'm erasing the little ears off the doggy because I need to modify them so that it looks like my doggy. So I took a pencil and I started sketching out the fluffy ears. And there you can see my doggy. That's Madrid. And she's a Cocker Spaniel. So Cocker Spaniels, of course, have these big fluffy ears. And so I needed to change that because the doggy on the stamp set doesn't have big fluffy ears. So I had to draw them in. So I am... I took my Copic multi-liner and traced it with that. And so now I'm erasing the pencil marks so that I can start to color it. Now I left in the coloring for the dog only because if I left all the coloring, we'd be here until like tomorrow because <laughs> it was a lot of coloring. So I just left the doggy. Now here's my kitty on the screen right now because I know you're gonna say, well, where's your, why didn't you leave your kitty's coloring in there? But since I need to give them equal time, I did show you what she looks like. She's a sweetheart. Her name is Tigress. And my doggy here is Madrid. And so now I'm coloring her in. She's black, so I'm coloring her in with warm grays. But I noticed that it wasn't as dark as I wanted. So I brought in the W9. And that was definitely uh, the shade that I wanted more than the W7. So I went ahead and finished coloring her in. I made sure that I left a little white area around the muzzle because she is a little older. She's an old gal. And so she has a little bit of white around her muzzle. So I wanted to leave that in. All right, so I went ahead and as you can see, all the images are colored in. So now I'm going to take the coordinating dies and cut everything out on my die cutting machine. Okay, so here are all the pieces. Okay, so here's where I, ugh, total brain fart. So you can see that I have the mini media mat from Waffle Flower because I wanted to try it out for watercoloring. So am I watercoloring right now? No. <laughs> and this is watercolor paper that I have on here. But I was watching this show called Deadly Women while I was making this card. And I was like more into that than what I was doing. And I totally forgot that I was going to be watercoloring this. So, oh well. <laughs> so now I'm ink blending. And so I am using tumbled glass for the sky. And I'm leaving some white areas. So I'm not trying to go for a super nice blend because the little white areas are going to, you know, basically be the cloud space that's going to be built in. So um, there is the ink blending for that background part for the card. So now I'm going to go ahead and arrange a couple, at least the two big items for this card to make sure that everything is going to fit on the space as, you know, I have it pictured in my mind. So I'm going to place the slider die um, kind of where I think that uh, it's going to work best. So I'm using everything to make sure that's where I want it. I die cut it out and I 
And again, double checking everything. Um, so I'm ready to get this lighter assembled. So I'm gonna take and put some foam tape. This is doubled up on itself. So I'm taking strips of it and I'm gonna put it on the back of this panel to raise it up because that is how the slider is gonna be able to move much easier by having this um, dimension, this height off of the card base. So I'm gonna add it um, to the back and I wanna be mindful that I am not obstructing the penny. So I am using the penny to make sure that the foam tape is not in the way of that penny being able to move freely. So here, I want to make sure that I avoid that track, that it, the tape is not in the way of the penny sliding. So I am making sure that the space is correct and I want to fill in these spots because I want to be able to make sure that um, you know, it holds up and it doesn't sag anywhere because that's going to impede the slider from moving smoothly. So, okay, looks good. So now I have all my um, double-sided foam tape on there and now I can go ahead and peel all that release paper and attach it to my card base. Now I can pop in that little um, piece that was die cut so that it can look seamless or the background can look seamless. I'm taking my anti-static powder tool and brushing it off to remove any of adhesive that might have got on there. I pop the penny in and now I'm taking again another piece of doubled up foam tape and this is going to allow the little roller coaster car to move back and forth just like it is here. So I'm placing the roller coaster, <clears throat> the structure, excuse me, um, right underneath the track. So I need to put my little bear in the, in the little roller coaster car, but he's too big. So I had to cut him off a little bit and then put the foam adhesive back on and then pop it back on to the penny. And luckily the one cent was right in the middle, so it was really easy to line it up. Thanks, US Mint. Okay, so now I'm gonna use that powder tool again and making sure that, you know, the, the slider can move very easily across the channel. Okay, so I'm kind of setting up, thinking how I wanna do things. I'm stamping the little booths with the little stamps that come with it. So one of them says food, the other tickets, um, the other games. And I'm putting in the little critters in each of the little booths. Um, well, I have the little squirrel and the little rabbit. And so the little squirrel is going to be selling tickets. And then the little rabbit is going to be selling food. So he's going to have little cotton candy that he's holding. And then I'm going to tuck it into the little booth. And I think this is what I enjoy so much about Lawn Fawn is they have so many cute little accessories and little things to add details and to really tell a story, you know, when we are card making. I think that's part of the fun. All right, so I'm kind of arranging and um, I'm getting my three little critters. And so um, you know that I put my dog on there, my cat, and then there's the monkey. And the reason why I chose the monkey is because when my son was a baby, um, I used to call him my monkey because he would always be on my hip, like all the time. He wanted to be sitting on my hip wherever we were at. And so he just like a monkey. So I always used to call him my monkey. So that's why I picked that one. So the monkey and Tigris and Madrid are getting little party hats and I'm kind of arranging to see kind of where I want them to go and where they would fit best given the space and I feel like this is the best place for them and so now I'm ready to commit and so I'm gluing down all the little critters adding a little bit of adhesive 
wet glue so it'll give me a chance to move them around and place them perfectly on the on the card so here are the little paws that go with them and so I'm not gluing them down yet I'm just kind of placing them and I'm going to be deciding about which food they're going to be holding so I figured that Tigris was going to be holding the pizza because cheese and you know cat yes and of course Madrid was going to hold the hot dog and so the monkey was going to hold the hamburger but when I put it on there I felt like the proportions weren't right like it just looked way too big so I tried the cotton candy instead and I, I thought that worked much better so I'll figure out what to do with the hamburger because nothing goes to waste in Studio K. <laughs> okay, so now I'm adding some clouds to the top because I felt I needed a little something up there. It was a lot of a lot busier at the bottom and a lot of empty space at the top. So these clouds were the perfect thing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the excess and I'm making sure that those clouds are not interfering with the a little car being able to slide back and forth freely so it's all good so yeah that's it the card's done so i'm going to add some final little details i'm taking the white gel pen and adding the highlights to the balloons and then taking the black glaze pen and adding details to the noses the eyes and oh, I, for, I guess I don't have footage of when I stamped the sentiment, but let me tell you, I had like a rosary of prayer going on because of course I glued everything and forgot about the sentiment. So luckily it all worked out. Okay, so now I'm adding some stickles to the little stars on the little, I don't know if those are cars, would they be called cars? I'm not sure. But um, I'm adding stickles and I'm trying not to go crazy because, you know, this card is for my son. So I don't know if he wants a bunch of glitter on his card, but hey, you know, it looks really cute. So I'm trying to control myself. I really am. All right. So I know I'm still going, but you know, just party hats need glitter. <laughs> right. So I think I managed to control myself and yeah, that's it the card is done and I love it I think it's so fun I love interactive cards like I said they're my absolute favorite cards to make and so here is a peek woo, <laughs> at the coaster and then the inside and see nothing goes to waste in Studio K <laughs> thanks so much for stopping by today and uh, for of course watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate it so much. Please stay healthy. Be kind. Remember that we're in this together. Until next time. Bye.